In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Packet Tracer on Linux. In this example, I'm using Ubuntu 20.04. It's running within a virtual machine on my Mac, but the process is exactly the same if you're installing Packet Tracer on a computer or a laptop. The installation process is very simple these days. At the time of this recording, the current release is 7.3.1, much simpler than in previous releases of Packet Tracer. Jump to this timestamp if you've already registered an account with the Cisco Net Acad or Network Academy. I'm gonna show you the full process in this video. So I'm gonna show you how to register an account on the Net Acad website and then how to download the software and then install it. So again, jump to this timestamp if you simply wanna install the software, you've already got it downloaded as an example. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is open up Firefox and I'm gonna search for Packet Tracer. First hit is the Netacad website. You could go directly to this website if you prefer. Now, if you have an account, click Login, Login to, Login to the website. If you don't have an account, go to the Intro to Packet Tracer course and click Learn More this is a free course that teaches you Packet Tracer. It's about 10 hours in length. Go to sign up today and click English. Now Packet Tracer is free software. They also have this free course that you need to enroll in to be able to download the software. So simply register your details and you'll be able to download the software. Now you have to put a valid email address in. So the address that you put in here has to be a valid email because they're going to send you an activation link. I'm gonna set this, do not send me communications unless critical to my account. I'm gonna certify that I'm 13 years or older. Wish I was a lot younger, but I'm definitely older than 13. You have to answer a math question and then click submit to submit your details. So to create the account, they pre-populate this with some information. Now, a lot of people struggle with this. Set company to self if you don't have a company that you work for. So if you're just a student, as an example, set that to self. Country of residence, I'm gonna set to United Kingdom. I have to create a password. So I'll put in my password. I have to fill in a capture. I don't want to receive Cisco promotions. And I'm gonna click register. So now I'm gonna log in with my email address that I registered with and my password. And notice now we have to put in our verification code. So in your email, get your verification code and copy that and then paste that in and click verify. So my email has been verified, I can continue to my profile and again, they want a whole bunch of information. So you need to specify your gender. You need to specify state, how many years you've been in IT for. Do you have a disability? You need to specify your birth date. So once you've done that, you can now create an account. So they get you to do a whole bunch of stuff to actually get access to the software. You can now launch a course if you want to, but I'm not gonna do that. The Packet Tracer course is very good. So if you wanna learn how to use Packet Tracer, then go through that course. But all I'm gonna do is go to resources, download Packet Tracer. Now again, at the time of this recording, the latest release is 7.3.1. Packet Tracer is available for Windows, it's available for Linux, it's available for Mac OS. In my example, I'm gonna download the Linux version and I'm gonna save that to my computer. It's about 173 meg in size, so you simply need to wait for that software to download. What I'm gonna do while I'm waiting for that is open up a terminal. So start a terminal. I'll make this a bit bigger so it's easier to see what I'm doing. And what I'll do is check where I am. I'm in my home directory. I'm gonna to go to my downloads directory and you can see that a packet tracer Debian file has been downloaded. 
So now this is where you actually install the software. Very simple after all that long-winded process to download it. So I'm going to type sudo to use root privileges dpkg install and I'm going to install packet tracer. So type p and press tab to autocomplete. I need to put in my password which I'm going to do and as you can see the installation starts. You have to agree to the license agreement so I'm going to press enter to agree to that. So say yes to accept the license agreement and as you can see packet tracer is now being unpacked and installed. Now I'm probably going to get an error here so I'm going to show you how to bypass that error. And there you go. So notice dependencies are missing. So to fix that, I'm going to type sudo apt install dash f to make sure that all my dependencies are installed. Say yes to install that. And as you can see, the dependencies are now being installed. Now that that's been done, I'm going to run the installation process again. So just go through it once more and I'm gonna unpack Packet Tracer over itself. So basically just doing a reinstallation of Packet Tracer. Now that looks better. It is complaining about some menu items missing, but all I'm gonna do is type pack, press tab to get the command Packet Tracer, hit enter, and notice Packet Tracer now starts. I'm now asked, would you like to run multi-user when the application starts? I don't want to do that, it's just for me, so I'm not going to start multi-user. You again have to log in with your user account. So I'm going to log in with my email, click next. You can continue as a guest, but that only allows you to save the file three times. So I don't want to do that. I want to actually run this more than three times. And there you go, I've got Packet Tracer installed and running on my Ubuntu 20.04 computer. So what I can do as an example is drag a PC to my topology. I'll zoom in here to make it bigger. I'll drag a laptop into my topology and I'll add a 3650 switch to my topology. Going to cables, I'll select a cable here and connect the PCs to the switch. Now, if you're not familiar with switches and cables and so forth, don't worry, I cover that in other videos. Have a look at this playlist as an example if you want to learn CCNA technologies and learn about IP addressing, cables, etc. One of the things I'll do is go to Options Preferences and I'm going to show Port Labels in Logical Workspace. So I can see my interface names. Now, it's not displaying them very nicely, but I can see how my devices are connected to each other. I'm going to click on the switch and I'm gonna add a power supply to the switch. You have to power the switch on before you can get access to the switch. So notice we can see that the switch is now booting up. On this PC, I'll go to config, go to fast ethernet zero, and give the PC an IP address. So I've configured my IP address. I'll go to desktop, command prompt. Let's make this a bit bigger. So I'll go back to options, preferences, font for CLI rather than using eight, I'm gonna use 14 and click apply to make the CLI fonts bigger. So back on my PC as an example, command prompt, that's bigger now, easier to see. So I'm gonna type ipconfig and you can see the IP address of the PC. It also has a Bluetooth interface, but we are only worrying about ethernet at the moment. On the laptop, I'll do something similar. Go to config, fast ethernet to zero. Give it an IP address of 10.1.1.2. Give it a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. Go to desktop, command prompt, IP config will show me that IP address. So hopefully, the laptop will be able to ping the PC, which it can. And hopefully, the PC will be able to ping the laptop. Ping is basically sending a message from one device to another to check if it's there. So it's like saying, hello, are you there? And then the other device replies back saying, yes, I'm here. So you can see we sent multiple hellos, if you like, and we got multiple replies from that other device. So again, on this device, ipconfig shows me that the IP address is this, and I'm pinging 
PC2, or in this case, the laptop, and I'm getting replies. Now, once again, if you're not sure about IP addressing, you don't quite understand what I've done here, have a look at this playlist where I explain networking in a lot of detail in my free CCNA course. But there you go, I've now got Packet Tracer installed on an Ubuntu 20.04 computer. I've downloaded it, I've installed it, I've got it running, and I've built a basic topology in Packet Tracer. I could exit by typing exit, and I'll save the topology. So I'll save this as basic network and click save. And there you go. And what that allows me to do is if I start Packet Tracer again, I'll be able to open that topology. So I'll go to File, Recent Files. You can see that it's saved the files under Home David PT Saves. So if I wanted to see that, Home Packet Tracer Saves, it saved my topology here. You might want to save it somewhere else, so easier to find. But there you go. Recent files, I can open up that topology. The devices are booting. We can see that the switch interface still has to transition to green. That's because it's running a protocol called Spanning Tree. Again, don't worry if you're not sure what that is. I cover that in my CCNA course. Okay, it's gone green now. So back on desktop, I should be able to ping from PC1 to PC2, which I can. Okay, there you go. I've shown you how to download, install, and use Packet Tracer, shown you how to create a basic topology. In other videos, I explain this in a lot more detail, so have a look at those. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please like this video, and please click on the bell to get notifications so that you know when I post a new video. I'm David Bombal. I want to wish you all the very best. People disappear.